Hey everybody, welcome to Bob Squad. I'm Dan Stacy, and you are about to witness my nerdy family and I use silly voices and exploding dice to tell a good story. And we're about to dive into the second half. We are at episode 199. Ooh. Nearly there to 200. Before we do that, 199 episodes up on YouTube channel. <laughs> David, we RPG Armor, we, got, we have one. Um, Dandy Blend. Mm. Zach and I chose to go with a little bit of Dandy Blend. It's like a coffee replacement, but it's way smoother and not no bitter. No caffeine. No caffeine. But there's a ton so, of other so benefits. not a coffee So replacement. not a coffee <laughs> Hot <laughs> chocolate. All right. Touche. Touche. Right. Just right. trying to slip that in. All right. <laughs> It smells like burnt toast. I, well, this brand does toast. It, does it taste um, like burnt toast? No, it doesn't taste like burnt toast. It's um. What do you think? I'm just kind of. It's very sweet. Got sweet. a bit of a some fruity note to it. I can't quite place. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it taste more like tea or coffee? When you drink it with just water, it'll taste a little bit more like tea. But when you drink it with like some milk. And you got a splash of creamer. To me, it tastes like coffee. Mm. But you this brand, add milk and then a splash of creamer. Ticino, I, I will say, is a better bland. An, Dan's an like, can we get on with this? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna plague Zechariah. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep, I'll keep working on it. If it comes to me, what, what it is I'm picking up on here, I'll, I'll share it. But for now, it's just. Could it be dandelions? It, <laughs> <laughs> no way. I, I, I don't know. Oh, there's a distinct there's, possibility. There's also barley Bert. root. Dandelion. And something else, <laughs> which barley root oddly so smells like toast. Barley root. And <laughs> so that's the <laughs> okay. Toast. I could maybe right. see some like undertones of a nice barley in there. Oh, there's almost this like a little um, green. The caramel. I like candies. how we're not saying that Janae's here. Hey! 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 Uh, They're so used to me being here, yeah. but I'm just showed actually up. here. Showed up and was just like, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, <laughs> ran away from my yeah, family. You can All right. sit there. Sure. <laughs> so we'll leave that. I don't smell bad, so there you go. Smell David's hands. I like well, David. Can, <laughs> can you tell David and Janae are brother well, and sister? Sure. <laughs> How did you do that? Because oh, smell good too right now. I'm very happy with myself. He's just basking in his own. All right. Um, we're going to. I have some nice smelling. <laughs> episode soap. one, ladies and gentlemen. Episode no, no, one. it's just episode. Episode. <laughs> it's episode. <laughs> Here we go. So uh, let's dive into the toastiest episode of Boss hey. hey. That was good. Dive back in. <laughs> What's great is like Austin's hand perfectly blocked today. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to do it again. <laughs> we got it. Well, we're not gonna fix it. We're just gonna do that. <laughs> Are you? Do you actually see no. the monitor over? There? <laughs> yeah, you can see. Man, oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> the only reason I came in here was to do the dive. Mm-hmm. Sorry. <laughs> All good now. Okay. Let's say, like we said in behind the scenes, it's the it's the episode. I so. wish I knew I could do that a lot right. sooner. Okay. <laughs> Think of the power. All right. We are going to pick up right where we left off this time, relatively as we go to Brick's <laughs> perspective. <laughs> Aurora's bathroom break. <laughs> Aurora's bathroom break. Kind of. So as that's happening... Um, <clears throat> Pimpam, Iliad, Yaberg, and Homer are returning uh, from their n- now successful venture into the, the southern lands, the southern and western lands. Um, nobody knows you're coming back yet. Well, they know you're on your way, but they don't know you're as close as you are. And Quinn has realized Aurora is missing at this point. Mm-hmm. There is a active assault on Dinolthir right now that um, Brick is leading alongside King Beck leading the defensive uh, forces. 
So that is what Pimpam, Iliad, and Yaberg are returning to. So we're we're going just a little bit back from where before something punched a hole in the sky. Um, Brick, what's going on from your perspective? What, what are things um, looking like, and how is he doing? So, of the party, Brick is by himself, and I, I just I imagine like there's like stations surrounding the walls of. Dinal Theater. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Like, what do you call the circular part of castles? The turrets. Or is is that the turrets? The moat. Yeah. yeah. So mean, they're like towers. Yeah, uh, surrounding. Um, Ramparts. One of those things. Matriculations. Matriculations. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. What? That's it. Oh, that's, that's exactly <laughs> that's what the word when I was quads. thinking of. Just do this. Oh. <laughs> they matriculate. The mountain falls down. The mountain and falls down. And a mountain falls. <laughs> the mountain that's over Dinal Fear. <laughs> just leans a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's he's at one of those where the attack, closest to where the attack is happening. Mm-hmm. He's by himself, and there's more than there ever has been before. Uh, it's like they're coming out of the dust, and you can't get a good grasp of how many there are. Mm. Um, like, the dead ground is just getting worked up oh. from mm. so many, and it's, you that. can't get a good grasp of how many there are. Which means, Pim Pam, Iliad, and the group, you're walking into almost a sandstorm. Like, it's hard to even see the castle. Mm. That's awesome. <clears throat> and as it's, as, as we're unable to know how many reinforcements we need, um, <clears throat> over on, like, the other side of the city, there's a signal flare that lights up to signal that there's an attack happening there as well. Mm. So when Brick was about to call in for reinforcements, someone else is calling for reinforcements. Um, Brick can't leave here because if he does, they'll absolutely break through. So he feels very alone and all he can do is deal with what's in front of him, um, knowing that there's chaos happening everywhere not just right in front of him. That's awesome. I'm getting this great picture that that's all going on in Brick's head and there's just this epic, he's like using his jet pack, the Ori spinning and sliding, shooting and slicing with his blades because you're just having to decimate these creatures into pieces and you're shouting at people all the time in your mind. Slowly, you your body continues to fight but a memory starts to tug at you and pull at you as the sounds of what's going on around you fade away. And we get a brick memory. If I can do it right. You guys filmed it? Yeah. Yeah, someday. That'd be cool. That would be. At least a cartoon, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Join it's our stitching. Patreon and Locals community. Oh, yeah, make it happen. Going. All right. Start a Kickstarter. Here we go. Mm. <coughs> Shh. <coughs> Clear. Deactivating explosives. Looks like we won't need them after all. There's nothing here. Ajax, am I missing something? Negative. Not so much as an irregular photon. Did we hit the right car? Confirmed. Lastra was explicit. Something's not right. This place. I share your concern. This space elevator has been abandoned for at least a decade. What about our ride in? Are they still in range? Negative. They walked out as soon as we were in vacuum. Let's throw a ping. Minimal info, just just confirm we're on the right track. Sending now. <sighs> Doesn't make any sense. OPSEC is one thing, but sending us in blind to an Alethian hot zone for intel gathering with no info on extraction or who's on support. <sighs> and sending us alone, indeed. 
This operation has an aroma. Any word, any confirmation. Encrypted ping successful, no response. Either there's a technical issue past the whip, or... Or they're plugging their ears. <sighs> Any chance you got a confirmation from Tarek before we left? No, I'm sorry. I delivered what I could about the situation, but I was network locked shortly after briefing. Okay. Okay. What's next on the plan? Commander, our task was to wait for the next set of instructions. Which was supposed to be received nearly two hours ago. <sighs> Understood. All right, I'm making the call. Can you give me a direct socket on the whip? Yes. Content will be encapsulated, but that will be a visible transfer. Acknowledged. Worth the risk. Socket established. Warlock, this is Chiral. Come in, Warlock. Warlock, this is Chiral. Flag is waving. Warlock... Ajax, are you sure they're receiving? They hear us, Commander. Someone hears us. <sighs> Commander, I'm detecting high-frequency vibrations, indicative of a nearby warp. Fuss. Can we get a visual? Window, right there. Slide the manual vacuum shield. <clears throat> oh, fast. That's... not good. What do we got? An Athean sortie. At least 30 ships. Chevron class, attack formation. Are they here for us? I believe we're the only ones here at all. Any chance it's a coincidence? They're moving towards this exact car. Unlikely. Options? Few. Obviously a dogfight isn't a choice, so I recommend we quietly stand our ground temporarily. They could obliterate this entire elevator, but have not opened fire. Can't just be reconnaissance. That's way too much firepower. Improbable. Are we compromised? Thirty Chevron-class vessels, each containing at least two dozen soldiers, moving to Bourne. They know something's here. So... Either head back out to the vacuum and stare down the barrel of those ships, or stay here and face a stream of over 500 Alethium boarding combatants. Those seem to be the two general categories. We can't let the Initiative get the armor. We can't let him have you. We cannot. <sighs> Can you send a message to Jadar's monitor frequency? Yes, but that is a public protocol. It would be unencrypted and transparent to every whip know from here to the bones. That's the idea. You want to contact the Lieutenant Commander? If he got your info, he's going to be as suspicious as we were. If I know Tarek, he's sitting in a manta, waiting for a report with at least three reserved E-Warps on the books. But if you're wrong... Then we're just lighting a beacon for the initiative. Quite the hell, Mary. I know my family. He's out there. And what's the worst that could happen? We gotta fight 500 more initiative? Valid argument. Are you ready? Ready. Open it up. You're alive. Hey, brother. If you can hear me out there, uh... Well, there's a tornado heading my way, and, uh, I'd like to click my heels. Over. No taking that back. Time? Little. They're docking now. So this is it. This is it. <sighs> One mission. I really hoped. <sighs> I thought we'd be able to do more. I did as well, Commander. It is rather um, disappointing. For what it's worth, it's been quite the ride, my friend. Likewise, Commander. We all gotta go someday. But it's nice to not have to do it alone. With you to the bitter end. But if it's all the same to you, I'm not ready to go gently quite yet. Not a chance. Let's make use of these debt charges. Place them here and here. If overwhelmed, call for detonation, and we will be sucked out opposite the ships to interrupt their line of fire. Understood. Can you automate a path out, full speed? I can. I'll do my best to navigate the debris if it comes to that. Okay, equipment status. Mark 18. Live. Thermals clean. Shields? Healthy. Thrusters? Charged. Okay. Where can I get some cover? Release that floor panel. <sighs> On it. <clears throat> here they come. Okay. I don't hear anything. Get down. I'm hit! Shields holding! Shields dropping! There's too many! Dead! 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 Detonating! Maneuvering! Commander, can you lead? Derek! Dropping beacon! I'm coming in fast! Heads up! On the line of vectors! Stay clear of the 
the chevrons! I see him! Coming around! This is gonna hurt! Grab onto the hull! I got a perch! Locking armor! Moving clear of the debris field! Chevron's moving! Weapons range in 30 seconds! Prepping the E-warp! I am outside the hull! I gotta get us out of here! No choice! We'll be overwhelmed in a moment! Uh, out of the frying pan! It's all right, Commander! The armor was made for this! Uh, Tarek, if, if I don't make it, tell B. You tell her yourself. Initiative on top of us. Almost clear of the debris field. Patching authentication. Approval received. We're out of time. Green light, green light. Runway is clear. Here we go. Everybody hang on. Ready in three, two, one. <laughs> wow! Oh. Oh. Dude! <laughs> Make it a series. <laughs> Make <laughs> it a series. Well, I mean, it kind of is. But. I mean, like, yeah, you know, you know <clears throat> live action. You know, camera. You just need a camera. couple more supports. <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. You heard it here. Two more, and we're doing it. Two more. Millionaire or billionaire supporters. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> As you, your body almost re-experiences being outside the hull of a ship and, and going on a naked warp, boom, at the same time, you come back to the moment you're in, not knowing Pim Pam, Iliad, Jaberg, and Homer are just on the other side of the dust cloud fighting their way back. Yeah. We'll find out what's happening with Quinn in a little bit and Aurora, but that's when, bloop, Commander, we we just got a response ping on our distress signal. What? <laughs> That's when it happens, and I think you can feel, everyone feels the tremble and the dragon roar that happens before it. Of course, Pim Pim and Iliad are there with Yaber who shouts, they're here. And that's when the ship comes through warping in. Immediately, something gets shot off the ship. Several of them. Pim Pam, Iliad, and <clears throat> you, Baron Homer, you guys see these things come burning through the atmosphere at a rapid rate and slam down in the ground just behind you guys, establishing a new line. While that's falling, someone uh, uh, um sends a comm request. Commander, we have a comm incoming from those descending yo-yos. Open it up. All right. Tell me right now who you are and how you have this identification code, or I'm gonna tear you the fuss apart. This is... It, he'd, he'd like pause for a second because he was gonna say brick. <clears throat> This is Commander Jonathan Hasley. The fust it is. What? Commander Jonathan Hasley died in active duty. No, the... It... Ajax, can you, can you send a... Some kind of identification? I'm sending everything we have. They're receiving. Just get down here. Oh, we're coming. We cut to where Pim Pam and Iliad are. All these machines. What do the yo-yos look like? Maybe we'll have a description of that. So you imagine like ODST drop pods. Nope. That's exactly no, what easy. I was thinking. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. um, I, like I had no. one of those, man. I had to. Never mind. We're good. All right. So that, I got to, the I'm second not you going said like the fire, I, I literally picture that. Yeah, yeah. So imagine these these um, Halo One pods. Nope. <laughs> pods. What kind Do you of know pods? what a pod? Okay. Like a, like a green bean, bean pod? pod? Like so a pod? Like imagine a, like a Like a capsule. bunch of whales? A capsule. Okay. A okay. huge Sky. pill capsule that's holding a person. Like okay. big, 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 big. Okay. And now imagine one like the size of... Tell the mic. <laughs> now imagine one the size of like from your backdrop to my backdrop. Okay. Uh, as a circle. Uh, like 20 feet high. Descending. Oh, huge. 
Yeah, That's these are bigger, big, these are bigger than ODST pods. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Um, and um, the the base is built much wider, and it has like forks coming out. Um, and as as they descend, um, they there's some thrusters that like shoot out to slow the descent, but they do slam in really really hard. It, like it shakes the <clears> earth <throat> when they when they hit. Um, and as soon as they hit, doors open, uh, ramps shoot out, and at least uh, at least half a dozen people per pod pour out. Um, and they have they have weapons with um, like la- they're like laser sights. But they're they're oriented like a dead space. If anybody played Dead Space, no. Nope. So they're like vertical or horizontal. Rather lasers. than a single dot, they'll show. A yes, line it's it's that a line. Fire mm. very specifically. Um, <clears throat> and they each pod, each each squad that comes out of the pod, immediately and expertly lines up, or depending on their position, um, orients themselves and just starts picking apart the zombies starting from the legs legs first then the arms and then if they're still moving then the head just slowly like and it's 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 like a, 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 something that's been rehearsed like they get all the legs first to slow them mm. then go for the arms and then head if they're still moving and it's like a sweep. And this matches with what Pim Pam, it's almost like it confirms to you as you watch them doing it, this is what you were discovering. Mm-hmm. And as you watch them now doing it tactically, cut the legs, they can't move, then get rid of their weapons, which are their additional appendages, and then it's easy to finish them off. And Pim Pam will re- readily recognize these as people from like, Bricks world, Bricks that world. ship, that Bricks aesthetic. <laughs> Those kind of soldiers. Yes, 100%. What are they wearing? They're obviously not wearing your kind of armor. No. They're wearing armor. Okay. Um, they're helmeted. Um, you wouldn't know this, but they are vacuum safe. Um, but it's, it's, it's like much more leathery, um, piece. The armor is like separated, like you know, you you attach a pauldron here, mm-hmm. a pauldron there, and it's it's a little more mobile, a little stormtrooper. Um, yeah. But I was gonna say ODST, but you wouldn't. I don't know. No. Bummer. It's a little less. I think it would be a little less armor than a stormtrooper. There's little more gaps. Yeah. More flexibility. So, uh, right. Like yeah. More. Much. Yeah. Oh, m- right. Much more like uh, Marine Corps uniformy. Okay. Um. Then. Stormtrooper armor. Gotcha. Okay. I see Pim Pam like carving into one of those monsters, being like, just looking up and seeing this happen, just like, oh, you're fussed. <laughs> <laughs> as the, I think, as the Marines establish, or my, what, would they be Marines? I mean, they would at this point. What do we want to call them? Uh, uh, I'm not giving about? them a name yet. So. Okay. As Peeps. the soldiers, Little mariners. Bricks, Bricks World the soldiers, Bricks World. But <clears throat> Commando. establish a line. They do still have to keep falling back because there is a wave coming, but the dust is starting to settle. And um, do you head straight out there to where they are? Bouncers. They're called bouncers. Bouncers. Mm. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Cool. That's good. Does does Brick head out towards where they are, or should we have them come to you? No, he, Brick would if if there's a if there's a safe if there's a safe path to them. Like yeah. if if it's just like a war zone from there to there, he's gonna worry about Dinothier first. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but if there's a spot for him to fight his way to them without exposing anything, he would. But. Okay. His first and foremost concern <clears throat> is dealing with what's in front of him. Yeah, and, and I protecting think protecting his turret. I think that would est- with them establishing this line, the assault falls back from where they established, and you guys, I think Pim Pam, Ilya, Jaberg, and Homer can be doing kind of the cleanup along with obviously other people mm-hmm. start joining. Guys, as soon as they see you guys, they start joining in, and you guys kind of clean up and brick. You can meet them, meet on the battlefield here. 
where there's a lull in the fight. And two individuals approach you. And yeah, you'd know breathable atmosphere and everything. So the one is standing in front is just a little bit taller than, than what looks to be a female form walking behind. And they look right at you and you see that he sends a recognition ping to Ajax. And you, you, everyone hears as he sends out over a comm. All right, who are you? Where did you get that armor? Tell me now, all the, all the bouncers are at ready, now facing you guys. Not firing, but at ready stance. Oh, uh, I mean, Pim Pam's going to be hilt the sword. Just be like, you aren't going to be fast enough. I wasn't talking to you. Brick's going to hold his arms out, drop his pistol, and it'll flick back. <clears throat> yeah. Blades will come back, and he'll let the helmet come back. <clears throat> Tag your ammo. Commander Jonathan Hasley. So then the woman kind of puts her hand on the soldier in front of her, and you can tell there's like a familiarity, like there's a respect, moves forward and looks at Brick. Jonathan? That can't be you. Jonathan? Sam? This isn't real. I don't, I don't understand. You, it's been 20 years. Um, Brick is... <clears throat> Brick is... squinting and like the the dust f still slowly settling he's just going to be so confused seeing this person who looks so much like his sister Sam is this really you? It, wh what is this? Why have you not aged? This, this, you have to prove this to me. Is, is this really you? Where did we grow up? You tell me. The farm. She starts to like let down a guard, gets closer to him, kind of like touches his face, and then immediately just pulls him in for a <clears> hug <throat> and starts to just like, just let down try not to be too overwhelmed with emotions. Looks back at him. For 20 years, I thought you were dead. 20 years. Brick is like in a, still s super baffled. <clears throat> Just, <clears throat> It, it's it's like that that scene in Interstellar when they come back from the the planet that's really close to the black hole, and um, I forget her name, um, Anne Hathaway's character. Oh, inter uh, Catwoman. <laughs> no, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but like when she says, like I, 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 I know the theories, and I, when she has oh, that realization yeah. of like, yeah, I, yeah. I knew time was gonna move differently, but now like seeing it, yeah, um, like he's actually seeing it now, and he didn't. Brick never, <clears throat> even knowing when he got up to the glass that time moved differently for him, and things had just happened faster for him. He never thought about 
the fact that that meant his family was going to go forward in time without him. Mm. So he's just looking at his sister, who's like 50 now, his little sister who now who's now older than him. Absolutely bewildered. Bewildered. Is that really you, Sam? It's really me. It's me. He'll, he'll bring her in to a hug, still bewildered and not really sure if this is real or not. While that's happening, the <clears throat> the younger male who was talking <clears throat> gives the signal for the bouncers to go to at ease and start yeah, looking around. Ease. He definitely turns specifically at you. Now he has the helmet where he can't see, but he looks at you. And then you hear over the comms, what the fuss are you? Pim Pam is, Pim Pam is, is going to give it like a little bit of a charming smile. And then she's going to teleport like right, right up to his face and just be like, my name's Pim Pam. Welcome strangers. Where are you from? Nowhere anymore. And we're going to cut over to Aurora right there. Oh. Leave it hanging. <clears throat> nice. Oh. That was fun. <laughs> <clears throat> How old is this guy? Wait, no, sorry. Never mind. Go back. Yeah, you're good. Just about right. <laughs> Looking for Ellen. <laughs> I knew it. What? <laughs> Looking for eligible bachelors. <laughs> They're few and far between these days. So, you know. <laughs> Aurora, as you're sitting in the darkness, feeling yourself floating in the sea of stars, you feel completely alone right now. You don't even feel that you hear the mother's voice. But then one comfort comes to you, the sound of purring. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I love Malik. No, that was me. <laughs> right. Sorry, it's a, it's a, it's a flaw. <laughs> so, awkward now. Oh, awkward. <laughs> Didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, Malik. <clears throat> Malik. It seems far away, and you hear him, Aurora, why didn't you tell me? I thought I could fix it. You don't have to do these things alone. It all seems so hopeless. No. Never give up hope. You're not alone. You never were. I'm here. You get the sense now that you're sitting and Malik has crawled into your lap. And you can sit and pet him for a moment. And as you do, his the warmth of him against you, this massive cat, you feel it filling you up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> There's Molly. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> <laughs> He just wanted to show off his other shirt. Do I shirt. do it too? Oh, I'm going to. I'll, okay. I'll be here. <laughs> Iliad's always man. showing really, up, <laughs> eating something. It smells really good though. So. Um, Is it good? <clears throat> but as you're sitting there, you you realize the warmth that's filling you is leaving him. You need to carry on. They need you. Don't do this to me, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> you have to finish this fight. I can't 
do it without you. I'll always be here. I'll always be in the Sea of Stars. Stop it. Never far away. And I'll be taller. <laughs> That's nice. You always wear a nasty cap. <laughs> and you're a filthy witch sometimes. And I wouldn't have you any other way. Thank you. For watching over me. I would be dead without you. And I would be a lost, cursed soul without you. Thank you for changing my curse into a purpose. Quinn bursts into the room, finding Aurora with Malik. She's holding Malik. Crying, not fully awake yet. Stop it. <laughs> I didn't come for this. Can I go for it? This? Oh my gosh, it's um, heavy actually. Her dead carcass now. <laughs> Why? Uh, actually, uh, now. Sorry. Explain. You've heard of wearing your enemy's skin. What about your friend? <laughs> your friend. <laughs> That's true friendship right there. That's true real. True friendship. For an easy two payments of $19.99. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's so dark. <laughs> like, get the full set. Um, oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Quinn, you burst in and see this. Uh, Aurora, are you, are, are you okay? What's going on? I think she's waking up and... He's gonna come right up to her. He's gonna hold her. They're, I mean, they're both very heavy, obviously, trying to trying to lift you back up. Um, I'm sorry. What? Sorry for what? I thought I could fix it myself. You're not making any sense. Fix what? She's going to hand him over the eye of the eyes. He's going to see it and instantly, I mean, he's, he's going to know what it is. He's mm -hmm. instantly going to, um, leaves vines are going to immediately come out and surround it. And so it's hidden mm. and just be, be out of sight. And he's, he is going to be there and his... His worry for Aurora just exponentially deepens. He's going to grab her by the, the face and he's going to look into her eyes and to be able to see if there's any of the darkness or any of the, the inkiness that's in there mm -hmm. um, to see if any of it spilled out. Um, do I need to roll for it? What do I see? No, I think in that moment you do see some as if it was reaching and it's washing away. And you, you conceive in a moment through your prescience and mm -hmm. the, the dark inkiness is, is being sucked out by Malik, into Malik's body, which you then realize mm. is not breathing. I would actually say her eyes are almost completely white at this point, pretty mm. much. There's no like, color there's left. there's no color yeah. left. Uh, he's gonna... He's going to try to heal Moloch. He's going to try and um, everything that he can think of. And um, I think he's even going to start to take out the tools. Mm. I think that is his instinctual thing. Um, so I'm going to throw something to you now. As this resulted from the use of the flaw, yeah. <clears throat> this will actually be the first roll in the next challenge event. Okay. If you choose to try and save Moloch, you will potentially be able to save him, hmm. but it will not count towards success rolls in the challenge event, and you won't be able to participate in the first oh. round. This will be what you're doing. <clears throat> Quinn, he's... He's... 
he... going somewhere else. Well, he doesn't have to. We we can fix this. He's happy. He's happy. He says he's gonna get bigger. I don't know what that means. Uh, go ahead. He won't be gone. I think with that, I think he's going to have a flash of Arkiro saying the same exact words to him and him knowing exactly where Moloch is going to go. And he's going to fight a different war. Mm. And and he is going to be helping from a a different field of battle. Mm -hmm. And I think that if anything, he's going to know. I, om- I want to use my, my whisper of the wild. I want to talk essentially that I want to get that sense from my mom that he and our hero are together mm. um, and they're fighting together. Mm. Is that a possibility? Mm. Yeah. Not absolutely. a part of the challenge event. I just want that sense of I uh, Quinn wants to bring that piece. Yes, to himself, but he also wants to bring it to, to Aurora as well. Mm-hmm. Seeing seeing her fatigue, seeing her, her distress, her hurt, her her anguish, he f- he has felt those things, he knows. Mm-hmm. Um, but he wants to bring some peace, if at all possible, to Aurora. Mm-hmm. No, I love that. I think as you do that, you reach out and put your hand on top of her hand mm-hmm. on top of Malik. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's this moment where, yeah, you reach out for your mother and you are both v- pulled up into the field of Adalia. And you see our hero and the Phoenix and the small but valiant army that's fighting in the Imperial realm, fighting against it, just like you guys in Dinothir. It's this shining, floating city yeah. <clears throat> surrounded by the rest of the Imperial realm is transforming. It's just being consumed and the the color almost going monochromatic and like the colors being drawn out and then into the sea of stars which is rippling and boiling everywhere and you see you know it's your father the shepherd there's these shepherds walking about all the abaddons of the past and they're fighting against those gual creatures that are coming up and now they're even they're getting larger and more powerful and marosha is running across the water the one shining white light again against the darkness and at you're at the throne of marosha where they are fighting and holding back the darkness just like you are in the temporal realm and you can see malik turning from the cat into his true elven form with fierce purple hair, tall, more, much more angular than Iliad, um, sharp and fierce. And he's slowly starting to grow and expand and turn <clears throat> shadows, not dark shadows, they're the shadows of Marosha wrapping around him, transforming him into a shepherd. And you can both see on his face the curse being lifted off of him. Mm. And then you're back in the room. Mm. Wow. Thanks for coming. (laughs) (laughs) I was supposed to be crying about something else, but now I'm crying about Molly. (laughs) But then there were cats. Oh, I do love cats. I've got a great image for how to hero forge that, though. Oh, Oh, my goodness. I'll make a tribute. (laughs) That was beautiful. I know what he's looking for. What? Who? Origin. That's what I was looking at. You were searching for Origin? He's the source of it all. I needed to know what we needed to do. And you found that? Where's Brick? He's on the front lines. What is it? What does Origin want? 
same once. That thing we got from space. The priority mo module? I. What does he want with it? I don't know. But if he gets it, we're done. Well, there's no time to lose then. And he's going to physically pick her up. Um, she needs to be healed. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. um, you don't need to roll for that, actually. Okay. M having made that decision, because that was an important decision. Mala could have continued on if yeah. he wanted to. I love that. So having made that decision, you'll be healing. As you're lifting Aurora up, that's when you hear the dragon roar. Okay. Ugh. Nope. Don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna stumble our way out. I'm gonna pull yeah. her out. And I wanna bring everyone together. Yeah. I think if you guys are okay with it, mm -hmm. we'll skip forward to now. In the castle, whatever NPCs you want there, obviously we gotta <clears> deal <throat> with this. But yes. What's his name? <clears throat> You'll have to should, we, should there have been like <laughs> like more combat? That happens to Absolutely. interrupt stuff, and then I like that. Sure, <clears throat> we have to right fly our when way Pim back. Pam flits in, and then you both have that quip at each other, and then you both have to turn around as <laughs> a monster comes in. And it's like <laughs> boom, boom, slice, slice on the other half. Ooh. Pim looks like <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's a little <laughs> moment there. <laughs> so excited! And you both look at each other, and it's like. All right. <laughs> like, well, Quinn's too old now. Like, uh, all right. Quinn's aged out. <laughs> <laughs> but no, for real, I think, yes, I love that cleanup. It's giving you guys this moment. I didn't finish with him. No, yeah. Do you want, is there <laughs> anything you want in specific, or can we do it with the fast Whatever forward? Whatever you want. Okay. I mean, Brick would immediately try to protect Sam as well. Okay. If there were more, if there were more, the helmet would come up. We'll give, uh, we'll give Pim Pam the name. Okay. In that, not directly. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. No. Oh. She's gonna, she's gonna stop. She, if he goes and says he's doing something, no. You can tell well, me if he survives the castle, and then <laughs> I'll I'll show you something you've never seen before. Uh oh. <laughs> Whoa. Watch out, Mama is there. Uh oh. <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> what were we saying at the beginning? It's like, no, we're not going to do that. Yeah. No, no we're not. No. <laughs> but, nope. Um, That's okay. He would, I, I think we'll end with the fat, we'll end into the fast forward of, huh. Nice to meet you, Uncle Jonathan. And we'll fast forward to, uh, the assault has been taken care of for now. You guys are in the audience of King Beck. Role play or something. Okay. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? No, Sam, you could have. Some I'm probably to still say. ignoring mm -hmm. everyone. Honestly, everyone else. I'm sure. still kind of in the in the shock mode. Um, but after I, it's finally the shock is fading and the reality setting mm -hmm. in. This is this is really my brother. But I thought it was dead for for over twenty years or so. And like all the walk, <laughs> yeah. the walk through, like as we're walking, Brick would would be like trying to prep Sam. Like, there's weird stuff here. There's <laughs> there's uh, uh, halflings and, and there, there's gnomes and there's magic and there, magic. there's there's a lot of stuff going on here. Just don't don't freak out. Trust me. This is the most hope that we've ever gotten. Likewise. The most hope. Thank you. You kept your promise. You kept it for me? No. You did what you had to do, and you completed the mission. No. Sorry. And so then Sam's gonna start to, uh, are we starting to see people come? Yeah. Or are we start and start to suddenly, like a nostalgic feeling after seeing her brother, how she remembered him. Um, Can we get a Sam memory? 
Run from the family. <laughs> they both just stay there. Yeah. They'll be back. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> yep, they're related. <laughs> so she kind of almost stops in her tracks for a second and looks around. And I think you kind of realize what she's doing, what she's thinking. Just It's almost like a quick flash, mm -hmm. looks around, and then look, looks back at Jonathan. Just tear. I knocked down the chair. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that oh short. <laughs> No. Oh my Where's god! My <laughs> husband! Oh. My we husband! Lost. The we husband lost all of my success because of that! <laughs> you fail! Oh. You fail! <laughs> Redo! Redo! Oh my god! Oh my Redo. head! Redo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all anxious now! Woo. I was ready! <laughs> I was so ready! Okay, alright, I'm gonna. I'm my, my husband! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna think about Malik again. Okay, we're back in it. We're back in it. Okay. We're back in it. Okay. Dead cats. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Woo! Oh, that's okay. Okay. Just imagine. Shh. Shut up. Shut your mouth. Oh wait, I'm he didn't have a face mic. anyway. You're I'm fine. sorry. I just hit the mic. You're fine. I was oh like, gosh. what's this on me? Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, hold, okay, let me go back. Okay, okay. Oh, dear. Okay. Episode. Okay. <laughs> Episode. No, 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 no. Okay. <clears throat> so, as... Even as Sam is looking around... Yeah. Brick already knows. Uh, and he's... Looking at the ground. Hmm. I think that when she sees his expression, that nostalgic hope for a second starts to go back down to reality. Mm. Back back to where she was at before even seeing him. And Brick would um He would he would know he has to say something, even mm. though everything in him wants to hide. <clears throat> I know. I, I, I've known. I've known. And that was his decision. It's not yours. This is not on you, and I know that you're gonna put it on yourself because that's what you always do. He knew what he was getting into. He knew what he was doing to try and save us all. I just hoped for a second, but I, this is closure and you don't need to carry this anymore. Please, I'm taking it off your, so your shoulders. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't right. None of us would be. It's because of both of you. Sam, he... He was the last one. It was... It's just me left. And he, um... <clears throat> he gave his life so I could get here. That's what he does. And everything good in him is in his son. He didn't tell me. 
I know. He didn't want you to have that. You know he wouldn't want you to carry that. He loved you. He loved us. I've known this. It's... This isn't something I haven't already healed from. Please, please take this off your shoulders, please. He had his own promises he made to me. You kept yours. You had no responsibility over his. I'm just glad I got to see you again. It'll be off my shoulders. Good. When this war is done, there's a job to do. Then we'll get it done. We'll all get it done as a family. That's why we're here. I like the idea that you guys <clears throat> enter in with everybody else there as Sam says that. <clears throat> and we can pick up with Aurora saying again, what she was telling Quinn. Not to break. No, to, as they're walking <clears throat> in. They're kind of walking in, and this is a meeting in King Beck's, uh, let's, King Beck's private room with the few people there. Is this, this is the first time we're seeing her. This is the first time that we're noticing. <clears throat> that, is, like, or have we, like, we've, we've already had the introductions, we've already done that kind of stuff, or are we stumbling in, wandering in? I think this no, is, I think we have to walk this is fresh. <laughs> this is... Yeah. Uh, yeah. We probably should role play it. That's fine. Bummer! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I know, I'm, we're trying to slam a lot into an no, episode, fine. so... But yeah, I think you've... <clears throat> this is the first <clears throat> interaction. Okay. Yeah. Everyone getting together, but you guys heard, you and Quinn and Aurora specifically have heard what came through the sky. Obviously, you can kind of see something up there yeah. now, and you see the boun the bouncers walking around and stuff. But this is the first time maybe Brick and Sam were having that time alone, and now they're coming to join the rest of the group. Do you still have your white hair, white eyes? Yeah, what's funny about it, and I was thinking about it, is that her hair is almost completely the opposite of when you first met her. So yeah. it's all white, yeah. except one little bit of brown, oh, brown. left. Yeah. Eyes all white. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. <clears throat> and do you know what I look like? Yes. The half, like, no, no mm -hmm. you changed. I did. <laughs> I did. Okay, so. never mind. I don't. Uh, so I'm humanoid <clears throat> for the most part um, here, but I have, instead of the horns, I have very large antlers. Oh, okay. So I have kind of a fur mane. Um, I have like a cheetah tail. Uh, I have oh. like like fawn legs, right? Um, wow. No more sword, um, and uh, but I'm so I'm I don't have the dragon half anymore. I am completely of the All Mother, and I'm very creation Earth. Yeah. Animal based. Okay. Cool. So cool. If if like Mr. Tumnus was like jacked. <laughs> I see it. Yep. And I, younger, probably. <laughs> he's in his 30s. Oh, okay. He's older now. Okay. Yeah. So he's in, he's older now. He's not. Okay. Aged up. Aged up. up. That's how we do A man it. now. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Um, Brick will, like, hold his hand out as, like, a signal. Who is this? this Who is, is they? This is my sister. You got Ken? I do now. Pointing to the, the thing in the sky. That's us. That's you. That's them. And if you guys have been family to my brother, then we'll be family to you. All right. Well, then. actually, Pim Pam just sort of like popping up. He's my adopted older brother. So that makes... I guess it makes us sisters, but this could get really complicated. She's got to go on. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> 
Don't draw those lines. I like this one. No. I think Sam's gonna enjoy that a lot. I think so. It's, it's almost like just the the fun. This is not a word. The funness that you remember from some of the memories of like the goofiness that Sam would like with mm. with Jonathan. I want to say brick, but Sam would not say brick. Yes. This is very confusing for me. <laughs> Well, he goes by brick here, but... Where did... Now, where did that come from? It's a long, complicated story. See, back when I was a baby, he was looking out for me when my mom was carrying me so around... So it doesn't home. matter right now. <laughs> what matters right baby. now is figuring out what we're going to do. Yes. Talk um, to me about that. Brick. Wait. Brick. Bullock's gone. D um, does, is, he, is his body here? No, I don't think she would have brought it. We could do the Jedi thing. Whatever you want to do, though. Legitimately. No, he's gone. He just disappears into a club. The only wise club can just... Malik is gone. Malik is gone. But he had a great I miss him horribly. Tell you heard it, David. It's episode. Sorry. Um... So there's no body. He... I used the eye of the eyes. I didn't think we had any other choice. But I know what Origin wants. He wants the priority module. He's looking for it. And if he gets it, I, th I think this world is over. What? He breaks in to like compose himself. Does he know where it is? He's looking. You would know, not yet, but he's getting close. Yeah. He hasn't found it yet, but he's getting close. We have to relocate it. It's gotta make it here where it can be truly defended. I think we know that at this point. What do you have? What's up there? Everything that you need. Everything that we've survived. The last bit of humanity is there. But our technology's better. Ajax could even use an update. What is this module? What did you, did you create something? No, Sam. The glass wasn't We weren't trying to save anyone. Why? Why are you saying that? The glass was a seed. For what? Humanity. Unten. Life. Cryogenic wounds. Thousands wrapped up in a pod. Ready for planting. We just had to find a space where sentience could survive. Where is it now? Here? No. No, it's hidden, but we need to bring it here. Then, is it something that could fit on our ship? Well, yes. Let's we use need, it. We need stealth. Do you, do you have any concealment? Stealth drives, yes. stealth ships. 
<laughs> I said yes without double checking. <laughs> we'll roll anything for it. Anything you want. <laughs> anything <laughs> you want. Instant teleportation, super duper I mean, shields. It's been 20 <laughs> years. I mean, there, we have at least four more of you. <laughs> Three boon focuses. <laughs> um, a few feet points. Just a few. Just, just six or seven. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've been asking this whole time. <laughs> She shows up once, and she yeah. he gets a bunch of feet points. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> no, we'll roll. Okay. We'll definitely roll for okay. that. That'll be part of the rolls to see okay. what's available and working. I mean, okay. if you just need teleportation, I might just get it there myself. How far is it, mileage wise? Up to the ship? I no, try. no, no, no. Sorry. Oh, from Nori's. Nori's to, to Dinalthier. Four weeks travel. <clears throat> Oof. Okay. No. Never oh, mind. dear. Because it's like two weeks to Prati and then two okay, weeks. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, it might be three weeks at a straight shot. Not by a plane ship. Right. Okay. Well, yeah. Do, yeah. Do, they, mean, do they, does it have like, you know, super speed, like, like the Star Wars go, the stars going, <laughs> warp, warp speed. Warp speed. Warp speed. Yeah, Double that thingy. Um, it it's wouldn't work. warp speed, but that's fine. Whatever. Where the stars go, yeah. It's yeah. Light speed. light speed. Light speed? Yeah. Does Kenneth do that? Speed. Ludicrous speed. Ludicrous. Yes, that's what <laughs> they've called. gone to play. The speed of wind. <laughs> the, they it wouldn't it wouldn't work in okay. this situation. Okay. Um <clears throat> There's gotta be something on the ship. Yeah, definitely. I wish I knew everything on there. So <laughs> I do. I, Sam I does. Really Janae does not. To roll. So <laughs> Sam is joining you guys in the next challenge event. Hey. Rolling. I'm a scientist, um, so. I think. Don't expect much. <laughs> I'm a scientist, don't expect much. Wow. Like, we, like physically. Children, you can still you know. be scientists and be good for this world. Yes. I mean, okay. Like, like punching, cancer. kicking, yeah. shooting, cancer. you know. We'll talk a little behind <laughs> the scenes because. This has been another fantastic oh! podcast in Avenue Studios production. Do give us a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to follow the adventure. You can further support us and become a part of the ever-growing forest known as Avenue Studios by joining our locals or Patreon community. Doing so not only helps us continue to create high-quality content, but you'll also gain access to bonus content we're about to make and <laughs> our private Discord where you can chat with us, play games, most importantly, the West March Kingmaker and Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Join and help build the kingdom. We will... Transform the stolen lands into something. I don't know. They're a dragon and lizard folk right now. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Join us for that. And uh, don't forget to check the links in the description below for the sound, music, and ambience that we use. And thank you so very much for joining the adventure. We will see you next time. Mara, bye.